Before leaving Georgia, uh, I decided that I would put together my top 10 list. And that's five of the things that I enjoyed the most from Katusi and five of the things I enjoyed the most um, while in Tbilisi. So let's start with Katusi. Now, um, first on the list would have to be Gelati Monastery Complex. And yes, it is because it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, if you're interested in UNESCO, then definitely that should be the top of your list, top of things to go and see. And it was incredible. is this right here, Bugatti's, uh, Bugatti's Cathedral. So, um, struck off the UNESCO World Heritage List, but it's still a complete marvel, beautiful to see, um, beautiful views across Katesi, uh, and it really, it's gorgeous on the inside. I love the modern twist on the renovations, even though UNESCO didn't, um, and I, I definitely think um, this should be on your list of things to see. And the best part is, it is very close to the centre of town. So it's you can walk here or you can walk back. Uh, it is up on a hill. Like most of the cathedrals, they're all on hills. Maybe there's something to that. But definitely, um, Bugatti's Cathedral is one, another one to come and see. So the third thing on the list would be Martvili's Canyon. Now, normally you would visit that as part of like a, a three thing, three uh, attraction tour uh, that you can book quite easily here. And normally it's, you know, a couple of caves and a couple of canyons and um, it's great because you get to see a lot in one day. If you've got a, a full spare day, it's a great way to, to um, visit a few things. Uh, Martvili's Canyon was my favorite of the things that uh, I saw on that particular day and you know that serene boat ride through that beautiful blue water clear crystal clear water uh, it was just it was stunning it was just a really magical place um, and if you only had time to visit one I would put Mark Billy's Canyon on the top of those kind of natural wonder lists. So the fourth thing on my list, um, you know, at the time I was a little bit uh, scared. I don't, I don't want to say scared, but, you know, I approached it with caution. Um, and that was the cable car up to uh, Besik. Oh, I've forgotten the second word. Let me just double check. Besik Gabishvili Amusement Park. Yep. Yeah, so there is a cable car that goes from right near white bridge up to the top of the the hill there where the amusement park's on the top um and you know for a, a couple of uh lari i think it was five three three lari each way maybe um it was you know just a really cool ride and it's definitely something that i would uh, recommend because it was just a bit of fun right like we need more fun in our lives um so yeah and even the amusement park on top was just it was nice to wander around you don't need to go on anything scary like the uh ferris wheel like i did but um yeah it's still nice it's it's just an, a nice um area to to go and see Now I do have a tie for number five and whichever one would be your fifth one or what's my fifth one I guess would depend on whether or not you prefer architecture or whether or you prefer natural outdoor wonders. So for me they're equal uh, and I couldn't choose between either of them if I needed to only pick five um, would be Prometheus Cave uh, or Motsumeta Cathedral. So they're both amazing to see um the cave tour was fantastic and you know you got to um uh, the, i think the tour i think it lasted like an hour um a guided tour uh, they told you a little bit about the it sounds like a wedding procession um but yeah the the tour guide was fantastic um but also the Motsumeta cathedral was just it was beautiful like it was really stunning the frescoes inside the the cathedral were beautiful it was on this rocky outcrop like uh, it, it either way like if you like architecture 
go and see the cathedral. If you like natural outdoor stuff, go and see the cave. Um, but either way, you won't be disappointed with either of those. And now for Tbilisi. I really love Tbilisi and I probably, it, I could have probably spent much more time there. Um, there was still lots to see before I left and a, a huge amount of day trips from the area as well that you can take to some incredible places. Um, but number one on my list in Tbilisi is is Old Town Tbilisi. So it's up on a hill, it's, it's underneath the fort, underneath the um, Mother of George's statue, like the beautiful old structures um, and make sure if you do go you see the the bath area. So you go to the bath area, there's some stunning buildings down there, um, you know you get that smell of sulphur of the river running past and yeah it's just a really lovely area. So number two on my list would be the Chronicle of Georgia and you know to be honest when I saw the photos of it online I went mm, it's interesting like it looks interesting I don't know if I'll actually enjoy it but look I had some time so I thought I'd go and you know what I fell in love with it just it was <laughs> oh my goodness the the car horns um, let me pause. No one quite introduces a wedding party like the Georgians. <laughs> so where was I? Ah, uh, Chronicles of Georgia. Yeah, so I wasn't too sure at first when I saw the pictures online, but when I got there, I was just enthralled by the entire thing. And um, one of the highlights was absolutely that little church in behind, and it had the most beautiful frescoes um, on the inside, and they were just gorgeous. And for such a little church, it sure packed a punch, hey, like, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, Chronicles of, jo Chronicles, yeah, of Georgia um, would be number two on my Tbilisi list. Now the next one is technically not in um, Tbilisi, it is the the old capital of Meshkera. Now Meshkera is a, a UNESCO World Heritage Site um, and it does have things like Chivari Monastery and it has a whole bunch of other monasteries and cathedrals as well and they are beautiful. Now I did this as part of a day trip and we went right out to Gori and we came back and so you know, I don't think I got to spend as much time in Meshkeda as I would have really liked. Um, someone who, like me, who really, really likes architecture, um, I think you would really enjoy Meshkeda. Um, uh, it, yeah, it, was, it, it really was beautiful and the cathedral was stunning. And um, yeah, that would definitely be number three on my list, even though it's technically not too busy. Number four on my list would be the Georgian National Museum. And I, uh, you know what, maybe it should be even higher on my list actually. Maybe swap it with Mishkina. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, the Georgian uh, History Museum, it, it was fantastic. It had so much information on Georgia, um, and obviously because it's the national museum but you know like it had really good information and i learned a lot um and you know and that russian occupation hall uh or installation or what do you call it display no that's they're not the right words but you know what i mean um the russian occupation section of the museum was heartbreaking and i think you know everyone should kind of go and it will really give you an appreciation of um, of that time in Georgia, in Georgian history. So, yeah, definitely put that one on your list. And 
number five for Tbilisi would be the Holy Trinity Cathedral of Tbilisi. Yes, I apologize. It is another building and I do like buildings. So sorry if you're nature lovers. If you're nature lovers, maybe jump on the funicular and go up to the park, uh, the amusement park there. That was fun, but fifth on my list would have to be the cathedral. It was, it was beautiful. And um, while it's not particularly old, I still, it was just done so nicely. You can't take photos or anything on the inside. Uh, so I won't be able to share any of the photos or videos from inside the cathedral, but the outside alone is just beautiful and stunning. So um, yeah, that would make my number five. And you know, and the thing is, it's got like this gold dome and you can basically see it from anywhere in Tbilisi. So it's really great also to orient yourself. So when you're like, where, where am I? You can, you know, yes. <laughs> You see the top of the cathedral and you're like okay i know where i am um but yeah it's it was it was great so um yeah that would be number five on my list so there were so many things that i didn't get to see in georgia um so you know there were whole cities i didn't get to like um uh, Batumi or I don't know Bajorno or uh, um, there's heaps of there are heaps of towns and cities um, in Georgia to go and see and there's you know probably something beautiful at all of them I prioritize going and seeing um, Mestia and Ushkuli that was the main reason why I traveled to Georgia in the first place and I was certainly not disappointed um, but it just meant that I had to forego some of the other places a stunning amazing places so Anyway, this was my top 10 for Katesi and uh, Tbilisi and um, yeah, but there's just so much more, so much more to see. Um, you know, I could have spent a whole another week, two, three weeks here uh, traveling around and just seeing, seeing this amazing country. It's been beautiful. Um, the food's been incredible. I should probably also do like a top five of food, but you know what, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it all tastes really good so just yeah um yeah so yeah hopefully if you um travel to georgia and you come to see these places hopefully you love them as much as i did